Hey guys, this is Panda, and welcome to Lamer's Corner. This is Eco. We've already done a review of Eco on the channel, so I'll leave a link in the description um, to that if you want to watch that. Uh, the basic premise of this video is going to be how to start an Eco. Now, this is going to be for single player. Even though this game is not really designed for single player, you still can play it in single player. There's some tweaks you have to do once you get into the game via console command. But uh, I'll show you that. Um, I'll show you where would be a good place in the world to set up camp. Uh, I'll show you some of the stuff you need to focus on first, such as food. Um, if you, There will probably be a multiplayer one later, but that's going to be a little bit more specialized, though. So say you're going to be a stonemason, you would want to find a place that has a lot of stone. You know, that type of stuff. Uh, this is going to be more generalized, so you're going to want to find a place that has wood, stone, uh, relatively flat, close to a running water source, not an ocean but a river, that type of stuff. That way you can get as much things done easily by yourself. Um, so let's just jump into it. Uh, this will be the new world. I'm just, I don't know. Panda's Place, let's call it that, and if I can, you know, type and its place. There we go. That's better. Um, I don't want friends to join. No collaboration. Yes, generate new skill points on crafting. The reason you want skill points on crafting on, on is because skill points in this game become they come very slowly. Um, they're if you don't do it on crafting, they come on a daily basis. On a daily basis, based on your nutrition and the way your house is set up. Um, once we get into the game, I'll show you how to manipulate that a little bit more. So let's get started. And I'll be back once it actually loads. Hey guys, welcome back. As you can see, this is a character creation area. Um, you could, you can be a man, woman, you can change uh, skin color, uh, shade, you could change the way the clothes look. I'm not going to do any of that because that's not why we're here. All right, so welcome to Eco. This is what the world looks like. Now it's going to come up in the corner. Um, you press tab to bring up your cursor. It's going to come up here in the left corner and it's going to start with just your basic tutorial stuff. If you've never played the game, I highly recommend that you go through these tutorials. It'll help you out. I'm not going to do that because I've already been through the game. Yes, skip all. Okay. First thing you want to do, see, this is a flat area, but there's no trees. So this is a no-go. There are, there is corn though, so you'd want to go ahead and just pick up some of this corn. Uh, you don't have to worry about like deforesting or anything quite yet. You're just a solo person on a planet by yourself. Um, Later on down the line, it will be a problem. But as of right now, just gather up as much food as you can. That's one of the most important things, because without food, you're not doing anything. Uh, in this game, there is no health. Um, basically, everything's run off food. So if you have no food, you cannot build, you cannot harvest, you can't really do anything except walk around. Um, so you need as much food as you can. Um, the next step would be to explore around. Uh, you wouldn't want to build in the desert, like which is kind of over this way. Even though there's rock and stuff, there aren't trees. You want to try to find a place where there are plenty of trees. There's at least a rock formation, kind of like that. Just something you can get your basic uh, stone at, or something like that down there. It's actually that's exactly what the type ah what you're trying to look for. Um, but once again, no trees, so not a perfect place. Let me explore around for a little bit and try to find a good place, and I will be right back. Hey guys, I'm back. This right here seems like a pretty decent place. Um, it's not perfect, but you're going to be hard pressed to find an actually perfect place in this game. Um, you have a running water source, so when you get your water wells up, you have a place to put them. Uh, now, you don't have to exclusively use water wells. You can use windmills. Uh, they work pretty much the same. They have the same output. Um, but you want to try to find a place where you do have running water 
you have a fairly flat area, you have stone, trees, and as an added bonus, uh, you really want a food source nearby. And this place, actually, if I can get over to it, there we go. Look at this, it has tomatoes all over the place. So if you want to start a farm at some point, which in single player you probably will have to, um, this is a tomato hotspot. Uh, farming, I will probably do a video on farming as a se separate video. This is not going to be discussing farming. Farming is a whole animal on its own. Um, so the first thing you want to do, you want to chop down some trees. You want to, well, first thing you want to do is to get your axe out of your backpack. By doing, to do that, you press tab, then you use your cursor, you go over, drag it, and you drag it over to your hotbar. Same thing with your uh, workbench here. Select your tool. Chop down a tree. Pretty self-explanatory. There it goes. This stuff will give you a uh, wood pulp, and it's used for masonry to make uh, pitch. Uh, so. It may seem pretty useless right now, but later on down the line, it's going to be extremely useful. Uh, now, to chop down, chop up a tree, you just and it's that simple. Uh, you can pick it up. You can hold 20 logs at a time. So right now, I'm maxed. Yes, I'm maxed out. So next, you want to find a place, just somewhere right now to store stuff. So I'm just going to bring. This seems fine. You can stack them up on the ground for now. that let's get rid of this stump uh, it's gonna take quite a few hits your first few days because you don't have enough skill points to upgrade your skills um, so you can upgrade your axe damage and all that type of stuff and make it a little bit faster also it's gonna use a lot of calories as you can see in the lower left that's my calorie meter um, it goes down when I run it goes down when I chop wood there are skills to decrease the amount of effect Swinging and jumping and uh, actually jumping doesn't do anything which is surprising uh, running that type of stuff actually Have on your nutritional values But we're not going to get into that yet. This is just a starter guide So you have your logs you want to put down your table. It doesn't really matter where this is one of the few tables that it doesn't matter You click on it I personally first thing Build a, where is it? Come on now, stockpile. Bam. You want one of these, so it requires five wood. Stockpile. That's going to take a minute to make. Wait for that to build up. Now you want your stockpile somewhere close to your home. Because once you make your home, the stockpile needs to be close enough to the tables that you have to put inside that you want to access from there. That way you don't have to keep coming out, grabbing the logs, taking them in there, putting them in the table, grabbing stone, take it in there, put it in the table. You just put it all in your stockpile and then it, your tables and stuff pull from that stockpile. It sounds like it's finished. Yes. All right. So now we need to figure out where we put our stockpile. I'm thinking here-ish. Bam! That's what the stockpile looks like. So you come over, you pick up all your logs. You just come over and you right click. And bam! It goes in your stockpile. It's that easy. Uh, so I'm going to cut down a few trees. Maybe gather some stone up. That type of stuff. And I will be right back. Alright guys, I'm back. As you can see, I've been pretty busy gathering some materials. Uh, there's a lot less trees around. <laughs> um, so I'm what I'm doing is, I'm taking these logs right here in the crafting bench. I'm making hewn logs. Uh, those are just your basic wooden material. So, while that's still crafting some stuff, I've already got some in uh, in the queue here. So, 
I am going to start building a little cottage. Um, now where you face it doesn't really matter. It's up to you. Uh, I think I'm going to kind of face the door in this early direction. Um, and maybe the back of the house towards the running water. You can always expand it out and do that type of thing. So what you need to pull out first, you need to open up your backpack, which is the B button. And you'll grab your stone hammer. And you'll put it on whatever slot that you want to put it on. Keep the tomatoes out in case I want to eat them. Put this stuff in my backpack just to try to clean up my hot bar. Just a little. Okay. So what you want to do now is select your wood hammer. See how it changed the block when I did that? Now, once you get better skills, you can do more with the block. Right now, I can only make the, uh, the thin wall here. Or I can make the block. I'm just going to go with the block. It's just easier to deal with. So... At this point, it's kind of like Minecraft. You just kind of, you kind of just start. So, you can only hold 15 of these at a time. So just keep that in mind. Then you have to go back, drag them over, and then continue. So I'm going to build up this little cottage and I will, I'll be right back. All right guys, I'm back. Here's the sun. I'm trying to see if I can see the meteor around. That way you guys can actually see that and see our impending doom. Um, if you did not watch the review, the point of this game, really, you have 30 days until a meteor hits this planet. Your goal is to try to get to the point where you can destroy the meteor before it destroys you, but in the process, also not destroy the planet yourself. So I'm just trying to... It'll come around. We'll see it at some point. Uh, so here's a little cabin. Believe it or not, this is really all you need at first. You don't need anything extravagant. Uh, just start out small. You can always expand on, which will actually help you in the long run, believe it or not, because the more rooms you have in your house... Um, you can put specific items in each room, such as like a bed, a kitchen sink, uh, a toilet, that type of stuff. It'll actually help you increase your skill points per day. Right now, not worried about it. This is a starter home. This is where you put like tables that require a room. This is considered a room. And you can see it down there in the left, left hand corner of the screen, bottom left hand corner. Um, right above the nutrition, it'll say room volume and what it's made out of. Um, there should be plenty for most things that we want. Um, now you will run out of just room in general, just for tables and stuff like that, but um, we use quite a bit of our resources there. Actually, we used a lot less than what I thought because resources in this game go super fast. Um, yeah, that's pretty much it. Oh, and uh, I was gonna go over the skill tree a little bit considering we have 21 skill points now from me just playing the game. So let's do that. So you'll hit tab and you'll go down here, lower left hand corner, and you'll click skill points. That brings up your tree. The first thing you want to do is go to your survivalist. You've already learned it. Learned it. Um, here's your self improvement tab. So you'll come over here and this one's basic crafting. You'll want to learn that. And you might want to put a couple more points into it. Uh, this is your research table efficiency. You're gonna want to learn some of that and this is just like this will help if you're carrying weight um, just your your stats basically this will help with like your calorie consumption uh, calorie efficiency how much food you can hold in your stomach that type of stuff this is going to be crafting efficiency so you want to put a couple points into this stuff and I'm actually going to put another point in that I'll do that again, that again. Now I'm at the highest level of basic crafting. So you can make pretty much everything in the work bench. There's a couple things that you need uh, specialty in, like carpentry, for instance, to make a carpenter's table, that type of stuff. Um, crafting efficiency, I'm gonna throw a point in that. Uh, and do a couple more of those. And now I'm out of skill points. So that should help a little bit just with crafting uh, 
using less materials when you craft things and basic crafting and just overall efficiency and speed. But uh, I think that's pretty much going to do it for this beginning guide. Once you get to this point, you should be done with the tutorial. The tutorial explains pretty much everything I've explained in a little bit more detail. Probably a little less uh, all over the place because this is completely not scripted. This is just me talking and playing the game. So if there's information I left out, I apologize. Um, just leave me a note in the comments and I'll see what I can do about doing it in the next video. Next video, we'll probably go over uh, the different tables you can get, the different specialties. Um, just more resource gathering because that's the name of the game. It's just, you know, think about Minecraft. Resource gathering, resource gathering. But it's a fine balance. You don't want to gather too many resources. Like right here, I've got way too much wood right now. Um, because you want, to, you want to give the environment a chance to grow. Like you want to cut down a few trees, do what you need to do. The trees will grow back. That's, yeah. You don't want to go too quick though because the trees do take a long time to grow back. Um, but I think I'm going to leave the episode here. I hope you enjoyed. If you uh, like the video, please subscribe. Please, uh, please click that like button. And uh, if you really, really like us, support us on Patreon. Link will be in the description. Thanks, guys. Bye.